Ah! That's a problem! Yes, let's sort that out before we start. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. But before we start, we have a product to sell. That is right, the Gaming Beaver Ice Shakers you may have seen in previous videos are now available on the interwebs. Whatever that is. So they are made from stainless steel. And when I was sent this as like a, a sort of product like tester, um, I was quite surprised because I don't know, you know, shakers you have with all these different energy things. And I've been sent so many things in the past. They're all kind of cheapy or plasticky. But this is, well, actually, that doesn't really sound. There you go. Yeah, that still didn't sound convincing, did it? It's Pure stainless steel. It keeps your drink cold for 30 plus hours, which is great because I record for a long time, especially now we have Jurassic World Alive. Not only that, but it has a little blender inside. So if you want to put anything else in, it'll keep it lovely and fresh. And as they say, also sweat free, even though I'm not really a sweaty kind of guy, but see, look, no sweat. Hey, I've really enjoyed using it. And really the selling point comes with a freaking handle. And if you're one of these people that pops their lids on their shakers and whatever and then try and drink it, you get whacked by it. It's also got like a resistant uh, bit there. So when you push it back, it definitely won't come and hit you in the nose. Like it's happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> so you can pick your own Gaming Beaver Ice Shaker down in the description below. I'll put a link there. And uh, let's get on with the video, yeah. Right, now with that said and done and out of the way, let's get on to today's video, which is actually one of three, I think. Um, so we, if you've watched, watched the previous one, you've seen the Interruptor. Um, now, after setting up the Indominus Rex, being this one that we're going to look at now, one might assume that the skins would stay the same color, right? You're wrong. Or at least they appear to be uh, changed. At least the patterns, definitely. So, let's start with... I can't remember which one it is. It is the Sonoran Desert Indominus Rex. So, it, we're starting with... Uh, well, we'll keep that up there so you can see. I mean, I put the thing in the bottom left anyway, don't I? So, maybe we don't even need that. I need it myself. So, here we go. A lovely basey beige one. This is the first skin that you get. I think with the, uh, the, the inter Interruptor, I did it out of order. But this one, we're all good. Um... Looks quite nice. It's it's a sandy, beigey. I mean, there's not much else to say. Now, going on to the next pan, which is Rana. Now, remember in the last one, Rana was a, uh, a, a, a what was it? I can't even think of the word. <laughs> Rana was orange. And actually, for this skin, it is orange. But you might see in the bottom left that I think Rana's black, or maybe it's not. I think the next one is. So Rana, it, because it's Sonoran and it, it kind of fits in, you don't really see much of a difference. And of course, since Indominus Rex is uh, hiding in the darkness, we don't see any difference either. Now we have Chal. Now Chal was the uh, light green, or some sort of green, um, or what, what is it called? The Chal Karana. Um, but as you can see here, if we speed up the footage a little bit, um, it is actually a black stripe. So you can see on the head, it's a bit darker. And if Indominus Rex would like, you wouldn't mind just getting up there, pet. Thank you. Uh, you've got a black stripe. So you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, maybe I'll go for the, the, the Chow from Indoraptor because it was green on Indoraptor. Nah, it's black on Indominus Rex. Don't know why they've decided to switch it up because I think there are some green ones anyway. Uh, moving on to Sonoran Desert Litho, which was yellow on Indoraptor. But here... It's a little bit of an olive green. Not my favorite on this. It kind of looks like he's just been slapped with some olive oil in the face. And you don't really even see the pattern on it. Uh, moving on to Pulch, which is actually kept the same. It is a white one. Um, and you can kind of see it there on the back. It doesn't look too bad. And the head, I mean, it's a little bit lighter on the head, but you don't really see too much difference. Really, it's that stripe. Sonoran Desert, not being my favorite. Now, moving on to the Papu of the Sonoran Desert. Now, remember, Papu is, I think, purple. But again, it, it looks a deceiving in the hatchery. And actually here, it is a really vibrant aquamarine greeny blue. Uh, you can debate in the comment section whether it's green or blue. I'm just going to call it sea green. I think I win both there. Um, but the, the weird thing is, on the stripes on the back of it, it actually has yellow. So in the last one, Interrupter, it was it was like a light blue and then a purple. Whereas this time we've got aquama, aquamarine and then a yellow. So I really don't know what's going on with these pants. I do like it. I think on Indominus Rex, Papu actually works. 
and the final one of Papurano being the Peliolax, which, remember, was a very vivid green. And on Indominus Rex, oh, they're talking to each other. Oh, that's cute. They're, they're having a little conversation. Uh, it's not green. It is, in fact, brown. Um, this one works better with the Sonoran Desert. I think when you've got a color like this, yeah, that, that like the green one there, that, or the Papu, looks really nice, actually. Um, oh, we've got some weird social behaviors here. I think what happens is the game starts to chug and dinosaurs don't move if you have too many. I think I noticed that when I was doing uh, uh, challenge mode. Anyway, anyway, we're here for this. So this one actually for Sonoran Desert is my pick for Sonoran Desert. I do like the, the, the dark brown one. And I also forgot to do it. We'll do a beaver top pick for this one. So now moving on the end of uh, that was Sonoran Desert, moving on to Death Valley, which you'll be forgiven uh, for thinking it's actually the same as Sonoran Desert because it literally is the same. This is it blank and it is pretty much just a lighter version. Um, there's really not much to say about it. Uh, it's just a lighter version. I mean, there you go. There's Rana. Um, which actually is the same. Never mind it. Rana stays the same, but it's uh, Chal. It's the Chal Karana, which was originally, you know, uh, light green. And now it's a really dark uh, black. Well, I guess it could get much darker than black. Um, but yeah, that one that one kind of works, actually. Then we go on to Litho, which is the yellowy. Yeah, it's a bit of a yellowy green on Death Valley. Not bad. Then the Pulch kind of works. I think if you go for a lighter, uh, similar hue to, you know, the actual color or a darker color hue. Um, it, it works with these lighter beiges. Papu, again, eh, kind of stays the same. Again, it's just a little bit lighter. It doesn't look as vivid. And then you've got Pello, which again is the brown. Nice that we've got some change in the horns there. That's quite nice. And now we're going to be entering a little bit different. We're going on to the Great Sandy Desert. Um... Names could be deceiving because you think Great Sandy Desert. Maybe it would look similar to Sola uh, what is it, Sonoran? But actually, no. It's more of a grey. Now it's not the Indominus Rex from you know the movie, and we don't actually have an Indominus Rex skin per se for uh, you know the the, cha the chaos mode we got. This is pretty much the closest we're gonna get. Or well, we'll see. We'll see. So Great Sandy Desert. Not really much to write home about. It's pretty much... So far, we've seen three varieties of color. They're all the same. Just variations of sandy beige. Uh, Rana there. Uh, Chal being the dark one. Kind of works better with this guy. Yeah, yeah, Chal. I quite like because it's more of a muted and less saturated brown. It works better with Chal. Litho hasn't found its perfect match, I don't think. Litho's kind of here. Kind of all right. Not the best, but all right. Great sandy pulch works here again. I think it works wonders for these desert colors. Then we got Papu. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of I kind of understand where people were maybe being a bit annoyed with the, the what you call it, the patterns, because it would be nice to see, you know, a different pattern because it is just this, but the color changes. But then again, we have so many variations. Um, we can't really complain. And then the Pello, which actually really works. I'm just going to speed up so we don't have... Oh, God, no, that's sabotage, James. Speed up so we don't have something blocking it. There we go. That actually works quite nicely. And if this other Indominus Rex wasn't in the way, we'd be able to see it better. But, it well, let's speed up the time, shall we? Come on, there we go. Get up, you booger. You. And, of course, as soon as I do that, it goes into the shadow. Or into another Indominus Rex. That one doesn't look too bad yet. That's quite nice. Now, on to the next skin, the Chaplain Valley. A completely new skin. It was not in the Indoraptor, but kind of... We've seen this color before, and you'll notice some colors uh, will have the same titles, but are completely different, like variations of color, but have the same names. Um, so Chaplin Valley, being the dark green, kind of fills in a little bit of, I don't even know what it was for Indoraptor, but finally a different color, a green, going on to the Rana, works very well with the Rana. The Chow, again, looks quite nice. I think this one suits better these colors. Litho actually is basically the same color. So Litho actually does work there. Interesting. Okay, we'll keep Litho. I like Litho on that one. Uh, Pulch being the light one, again, looks really nice. Pulch on this green is beautiful. Now onto Papu, which is the, uh, the aquamarine. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's it's hard to say. Yeah, mm, not sold on it. And Pello, which is the dark brown. Now that one works more. So we'll speed that up because really we want to see the face and the uh. Yeah, that looks nice. 
I like that one. Yeah. And while, while we wait, we can take a sip of a amazing new ice shakers. Way. There we go. So the pillow looks quite nice on this one as well. The brown fits in very much with the, the, the green and yellow sort of hints and colors. Now onto the Salar del Huasco. Uh, this one being more like the rainforest color from Indoraptors. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't this color on Indoraptor. Maybe it was more of a, uh, a beige or a yellow orangey. But here, this is what I think the Amazon rainforest was on uh, Indoraptor. However, we do have Amazon rainforest on this, on this Indominus Rex, which is so strange because I took one look at this and I thought this was Amazon rainforest. It isn't. Uh, Salar del Huasco. So let's have a look at it with the brown. Eh? Eh, subtle, subtle. Maybe you just like it blank, but you want a little bit of pattern. Go for the Rana. The Chow being the darker also works. I mean, if it's a white or a black, they can basically go with any other color. The Litho being a yellowy. A, ooh, maybe that works better if you just want a little bit of pattern and variation. But really, that's kind of close to blank. Uh, Pulch. Uh, yep, yeah, I think Pulch and uh, Chell go for everything. Was it Chell? Chow. Pulch and Chow go with things. Papu. Papu, it's very hard to get a Papu that works. I think you need either a, a white or a black to set off that color, or maybe a complementary, but with green, maybe not so much. Uh, Pello being, what was the green? A brown? Yeah! That looks like a tree frog. Yeah! I mean, they said that Indominus Rex had tree frog DNA in it, right? Yeah, definitely. 100%. That works. Oh, that's nice. I like the contrasty. Now on to Limpopo River, which I don't know if it was a brown, but hey ho, it is a brown in this one with Indoraptor. I mean, I mean, um, yeah, that looks quite nice. A dark color. Finally, some variation, with, which we just had with the green, I suppose. We'll go for Rana. Uh, oh, yes, that's lovely. Yes. Not bad. A little bit of a lighter brown with that one. On to Chow being the darker. Don't say too much because it's already on a darker skin, but I like the little hint of color on the uh, on the thighs there with this one. A little bit of yellow, but yeah, you don't really see that one too much. Litho being a yellow, looks like he just dipped its face in mustard. No, not a fan. Pulch being a white one in comparison to the, or to contrast this dark skin. If this Indominus Rex would even turn around, it probably isn't. Thank you, but I'm gonna say that one works quite well, even though we're not seeing the best of it. I'm seeing it on the back there, and that looks quite nice. There we go. Okay, we don't really see it on the head as much, and that's really strange. It's not on the head at all, the litho. So if you just want stripes... Oh, sorry, pulch. Go for the pulch. Right, on to Papu being the... Oh, God damn, why are you always in shadow? I don't understand. There's so many ways you're, like, lovely... There's, the, in this game, there's so many different lightings, but there's only a handful that look or make the dinosaurs look really great. And for whatever reason, in Canada, they've decided we're just going to go for this really harsh... I mean, this is no weather. Uh, harsh sunlight. So on one side, it looks nice. The rest, shadow. You don't see now. Which is not what you want when you want to see your dinosaurs. Um, yeah, 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 it kind of works a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that on the Papu and the Pello. Oh, yes. Actually, a, a more vibrant... Uh, color from the brown on this skin. Yeah, that's quite nice. Moving on to Quillian Mountain. Now, this was the brightest you could get for the Indoraptor to make a white Indoraptor. We have got one that's actually even brighter for the Indominus Rex. Um, so again, we're going to speed up. I think the reason why they, they're standing around is because they've only got a small uh, area to walk around in. So that makes it quite hard. Uh, to map out their walking animations. I think that's why they seem to stop a lot. Uh, but no, that's quite nice. I quite like Quillian Mountains. Go for Quillian Ran. A little bit of color there. Not bad. That also gets a thumbs up. Pulch. Yeah, again, a mustard head. Litho being the lighter one. Yes. Look, we're so tight in here that none of the Indominus Rexes. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I will just delete this fence here to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's uh, it's very, very small in here. The thing is, I'm keeping it small so they don't attack each other. Because I think they would otherwise. Um, so that one's quite nice. The litho. Uh, let's move on to the papu. Uh, papu, how are you? How are you on this one? Yes and no. It's, it's a hard sell, the papu. But the pelo in this skin looks very good. I think the pelo in Indominus Rex looks great no matter what skin, really. Now, moving on to the Yukon River. Being a bit of a, a murky, greeny white. 
Um, this one, I think, is one of my least favorites of the Indominus Rexes because it's it's it can't make its mind up whether it wants to be white or green, and it's kind of all. I didn't really like it. Uh, Rana, yeah, that one looks not too bad. Chow, the darker one. Ah, oh, not even Chow can save it for me. Litho, oh god, they're phasing between each other. The mustard, the pulch. I guess it gives it a stripe. It's still keeping the same color, though. The Papu, which is hiding behind the whatever that one is. I mean, you, you can see it there. It's kind of... Why do we have three Indominus Rexes just facing inside each other? Finally moving around. Yeah, you see the yellow a lot stronger in this one. And then Pello. Yeah, Pello works best with the Yukon River. Not my favorite. I don't really like Yukon River too much. Now, here we go. This I think this is the darkest color that you can get for Indominus Rex. This is the Svalbard, so you can't really get a complete black, although, watch this, there will be one, just wait. <laughs> uh, Svalbard, yeah, if you want a dark Indominus Rex, this one works. This one's one of the better skins, I think, just generally without anything on it. Uh, Rana looks nice there. The Chal, which I think is the darker one, so yeah, but because it's got the brownish highlights or stroke around, the black um, black stripes. That yeah, this one looks quite nice. That's that's a favorite. I like that one. And then you've got the litho to give it a little bit of color. But again, I'm not really a fan. And actually, the head is lighter than the stripes. You've only got one there, and you've just got a yellow head. Interesting. Pulch being a lighter one. Uh, this one, yeah, the stripes work, and then nothing on the head for Pulch. Papu. Oh God, no! What monstrosity is that? <laughs> and Pello, which works. Uh, Pello just seems to work with all. I think the dark brown or the more saturated brown works with uh, more of the Indominus Rex skins. Now here we go, Amazon rainforest. So now maybe we're talking more of a green tree frog. And now you see the difference. Awesome interaction there. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, eh, it kind of works. Uh, Rana. Yeah, it's all right. Not too much to write home about. Chow works much better. The litho uh, is kind of similar to the green yellow that's already on there. So, eh. Pulch. Actually, eh. I'm all right with it. And Papu. What does Papu look like? It's always interesting to see how Papu works. Because it, it so often doesn't work with a lot of skins. And this one, yeah. Works more so. I like that. Complementary colors. So vivid and contrasty that they work with each other. And Pello being a dark brown. And that, yeah, Pello just... Pello is the best for Indominus Rex. Moving on to the another one, the Mangrove Forest. Being a darker brown. You'll notice through this entire video, you'll see them in the bottom left, that they look very different to the colors. Which is why you need this. and Which is why in Jurassic World Evolution 1, we had a guy who basically showed you all the skins in some sort of species profile-esque. Um, quality content um, because you need to. You need to be able to see because you look at the thing and you think you know what you're going to get and you look at this and it's completely different. Uh, so, uh, moving on to the Mangrove Forest Rana. Looks quite nice. Complementary colors. Uh, the Chal being a yeah, the darker one. Yeah, the colors or the stripings on the head. That works really well. Litho, Mustard. It's hard to find one that works with that one. Pulch. Pulch goes. Pulch is a nice one. Yeah, Pulch looks good. Uh, Papu, there's only like the rainforesty ones it seems to have worked for. But when to make it look like a tree frog, it works. Pello being a dark brown against a dark brown. Yeah, that one's quite nice. Yes, I like this one, Pello. Right, moving on to the last one, the Gambia River Basin. Now, right off the bat, it really reminds me of an Allosaurus, and I don't know why. Or it's Aladar. That's it. It's like Aladar from Disney's Dinosaur. That's what the colors remind me of. Or at least I had a toy that was this kind of color, going from a, a lovely whitish to a, I don't know, a turquoise, I guess you could call that. We'll look at Rana on it. Yeah, Rana. Rana does look too bad, but I quite like it just looking blank. So this is one that I'm hoping Papu looks quite nice on. The black stripes on this one. Yeah, that looks quite nice. The litho, the mustardy head. Not as bad as it has been on other ones. Pulch being the white one. Yes. Yes. Oh, that might be my favorite. I like that one. Yes. Look at you with the white stripe. Right, Papu. Come on, Papu. I'm going to get you out of the shadow there. I want to see you in the sunlight. What does Papu look like? Are oh, you going to be the best skin in it? Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. I like Pulch, though. I like the white on it. 
I think we're losing some because it, it's so overpowering on the, the sort of toned down saturation of the, the normal skin that... But it works. It does work. And then Pello being a dark... Of course you... Of course you sit down, damn it. All right, there we go. We got a better view of it now. Yeah. I think if you're unsure and you want to mess around with different types of skins and stuff... Pello is a safe bet when it comes to Indominus Rex. Everything else, perfectly fine, I think. Uh, but Pello seems to be the best. But uh, as far as best skins in this goes, I don't know. I like Pulch. That is it. I think Gambian River Basin with Pulch just looks so freaking... Look at that, man. Oh, it... it it's maybe, you know, not the classic Indominus Rex, but just that little bit of color. I think maybe I've got a soft spot for this kind of bluey green. It looks really nice. I like it. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, that has been... I just want to double check. Um, that has been every... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Hold on. Oh, oh, it was camouflaging. Oh. <laughs> I was like... Yeah. That's not the color. Oh, right. Okay, he was camouflaging. Never mind. Okay, yeah. I think the winner out of all of them has to go to Gabby River Basin Pulch. But if you've enjoyed that video, guys, and if there's any other dinosaurs that you'd like to see, all the color schemes, depending on these videos, how well these videos do. I know it's not really great content, but it's just a way to show you guys all the different skins because there's like 83 of them. And it's just, I mean, how many parks or how many Indominus Rexes do you have to make? You're not going to make every single one. You're not going to remember. But at least this way, you get to see them, I suppose. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.